Hello, good evening and welcome and lovely to see you all on another Sunday night crafting with Sandra. So tonight I have a little bit of a treat for you. Jackie and I, you've been heard me going on for a few weeks now that um, we've been sharing um, the Everything is Rosy online um, class that we're doing. Uh, it's going very well. Uh, most of our people have got their kits, all bar two that are still held up just coming from the warehouse. Um, I've looked tonight just before I came on and the kit is still available. So if anybody else is interested, terrific saving from £74 down to £40 and 70 pence. By adding a couple of extra items, you've got a lovely bumper bundle, tutorials from both myself and Jackie, YouTube videos, Facebook Lives like today, and anything else really. Lovely bumper bundle. Okay, so tonight I'm going to be making the box that is included in the kit. So um, I'm just going to take you down onto the desk. So let's just push you across there. That's it. So this is our lovely box. Now this has been made, this is my design, it's been made for the note cards and envelopes that everybody is using in their kits. So um, we're going to crack on with this. I have got a couple of um, diagrams that they have got in their kits, so we'll be following those for you. I've got most of the pieces sort of like pre-cut, pre but I will talk you through some of the measurements as well. So anybody watching this, if you're encouraged that you'd like to buy the kit and actually craft along and have a whole bumper tutorial, then please feel free to contact Jackie or myself. Okay, so I'm going to take, you're down on the desk already, so I'm going to move that out of the way just over there. And I will bring up my two sheets of navy card, knight of navy card. So we need two sheets, one is for the lid and one is for the base. Okay, so we'll start with the base first. So let's just take my stamp and trimmer and we're going to cut this. The base is, uh, I've got my diagrams here. So the width of A4 is always 21. So the width of this is 21. So we just need to take this long length and cut it to 25. Okay, so that's the scoring one. Move that out of the way and we're going to cut at 25. Move those to one side. So then we're going to change the blades over to the scoring blades here. You can just see the top of that now. I'll just bring that down a bit. So we're going to score this one at five and a half centimetres on all the sides. So um, we're going to go this way and we're going to start here and we're going to go five and a half on that edge. Turn it and go five and a half on this edge. I'm going to go five and a half on the next edge and five and a half on the last one. Okay, so we've scored all of those. I'm just going to set that aside. I'm going to do all my cutting and scoring now so that we get that out of the way and then I can put the trimmer out of the way. So bring the second piece of card along. Now this one we want to have 16 by 20. So because this is 21, we'll have this as our 20 centimetres. So we'll cut 16 along this edge. Now, the only thing with this trimmer is they've, this is so much better than the old one. And all the measurements you won't see on the camera, but the measurements are engraved into this little dark area here. So this is 15, that's 17. And 16 is just on that crease. So I'm going to cut that at 16 and discard that piece. And then we're going to turn this and cut at 20. So we're just taking one centimetre off there. So my 20 centimetres and we've got one centimetre to come off. Okay, so that's that one. Now because we want the, um, the lid to be a little, oh, just a tiny, tiny bit bigger, we're going to put this at 2.9. So we, we would normally do just under three, but if I say 2.9, it's just giving us that millimetre smaller so for this one, I'm going to score it on this side. So if you can look at my trimmer here, on this side, we've got going out that way, we've got one, two, three, oh, over three and a half there. So I'm going to go to 2.9. So we find the three and we go one smidgen just underneath there. So we're going to score it at that on all the four sides. Okay. There we go. So that's the first, that's the second. That's the third. And that's the fourth. Hello, I can see lots of people craw crawling up on here now. Evening, everybody. Um, you can go back and recap the first bit, but this is the online class that Jackie and I are doing. Um, and I'm just making you the special box that's going to house. Um, or it's made for the note card and envelope size. So it's not the full size card. It's just a wee bit smaller. Okay, so now I've done all, all of that, I'm going to take my bone folder and I will burnish all these edges. So all of these lines will be scored. 
um, on, all, on the, the base and the lid. Okay. So that's the, the lid, and then this is the base. The base is deeper. It's a nice deep box, but I was making maximum use of the width of the card, so at 21 centimetres, what, what's the biggest I could get out of that. So we've gone for this nice deep box. Now, I do have my snips handy, but for long cuts, I do like to cut the, these on the, with bigger scissors. So on the long, long edge here, um, we're going to cut these, these lines here. Anybody who's been to any of my classes before will know that we go parallel. So we go two lines here, so cut there to the score and cut there to the score. We'll turn it round and we'll do exactly the same on the other side. So I'm just going to cut that straight. There is a reason these ones have to be straight. So I always encourage people new to cut making boxes that you cut that straight first. And then the opposite two as well, we're going to cut those straight. These sides will be visible in the corners. You don't want to taper these ones because they will be, they will look funny. I'll show you at the end. So now we've got all our lines cut. Sorry, not all on the camera. I've zoomed in a little bit too far, haven't I? I'll move that one out of the way. So we've got the, the body pieces here. Now, the easiest way I can describe to you is to push the side of the box out of the way. These tabs will, have, will be where you're going to glue them. So I'm going to taper. My catchphrase is taper the tabs. So we're going to taper these a wee bit smaller. So we're going to come from the outer edge and into that point. So just taking off a little triangle there. Can you see the size of that? Very, very small, but it's going from the outside to the, sorry, inside into the outside. So that, if you look at it, somebody described that once as being a flower pot. So if you see my hands underneath, you can see it's slightly tapered up the sides there. So that looks like a, a flower pot. So I like that phrase and my, my, my catchphrase is taper the tab. So we're gonna do that on all four sides. We're gonna do that one first and then this one here. It's only a tiny little bit. But believe me, it will make your box nice and neat. So I'm turning that round to do the other sides. As I said, move the big ones out of the way. So tuck those inwards. You're not tempted to cut the wrong piece. You're going to cut that tab. So taper your tab and make it a flower pot. Okay, so we're coming in there and we're going to go down there like so. And then we're going to do another one here. And taper the tab there and taper the tab there. Okay, so all of those bits can go in the bin. Uh, I will get rid of them probably, instead of on the floor like I sometimes do. Um, and then we're going to do exactly the same with the lid. So this is the lid. So these are shorter pieces. So we're going to snip up here straight. So just repeat all of that just on a smaller scale. So this is the bare bones of making any box. Uh, you're not late, Lyn Lynette. Don't worry, you can um, catch up on... Um, on uh, replay the measurements so those are our four slits so we've gone up here on the long side and on the, the reverse the opposite side as well so push that out of the way and then we're going to taper the tab so you're going to make a little tiny gradient there just a little tiny snip and you have your flower pot okay so it looks like a little flower pot under there okay so we'll make another flower pot here I am country bumpkin so I do talk funny jargon so those of you who are watching, I know there's some friends on there from overseas. So um, I do talk funny jargon because I'm a country bumpkin. So I, I, do, I have in the past, I've got myself into quite trouble. I say it as it is. Um, cause quite a few giggles. I'm sure a few of the people on here will know that um, I do cause a few giggles by the things I come out and say. There we go. So all of our flower pots are made. Okay, so now we're gonna stick these edges together. Okay, I'm going to leave the lid for the time being, but I will do the base first. So these tabs, if you push the tabs in, we will do a pair together. So here, I'm just going to take the lid off my Tombow. Um, I haven't started this tonight, so just hope that's still running. Yes, that's good. Okay, so we're just going to go around all the edges of this, um, the flat pot. Okay, so I'm going to do a pair. I will do these, these long edges first, I think will be better. So, because the other ones, the short edges on this one will overlap slightly. So I'm going to bring this one in. You can see I'm just bringing that up to make a right hand edge there. So that has brought that completely in. And I'm going to grab my bone folder and I just press firmly on the inside. Now this one is going to come in here 
and we want this straight. Now this is why I saw, told you that we wanted a straight edge on the main piece, we want a straight edge. The tabbed piece, I'll show you on the inside in a sec. So if the camera will allow it, I'll get that up there. Can you see the flower pots in there? They're tapered and you'll just see that the top tiny little piece there, very difficult to see in there, but the tiny little piece there is just tapered in. That means it's not going to stick out above the side of your box. You don't want a little rough edge sticking up here. And tapering those tabs like that just helps you do that. Okay, so we're going to turn it over and we're going to put the adhesive on the remaining two sides. By cutting it this way, you're also going to reinforce these longer edges. You don't really want to reinforce your shorter edges. So we're gonna bring that up there. The shorter edges don't really need much reinforcing, but the longer ones, it does just help to have that a little bit stronger. It's good quality cardstock. We do like our cardstock, but it just helps reinforce those long edges a little bit. So just press on that like so. And there's the base of your box, okay? No sound. Should have sound on it. Um, I'm just going to bring that up a little bit. Does that help? Hey, tell me if that's any better. I think that should have been where it should have been to start with. Um, so say it, make a comment, and let me know if that's um, the sound is better. Okay, I'm going to glue these. I will glue the sides of these ones down exactly the same as I've just done for the box. You can hear, oh, that's good. Okay, that was low, a little bit lower than normal, I think. So, um, good, glad that helps, thank you. So I've just done those two. I know I'm very quick, I'm sorry. But it's exactly the same principle as the other side. So we'll move the long piece out of the way. We're gonna put the adhesive on these two little flaps, our two little flower pots. Okay, and I'll make this right angled edge here. So it's nice and square. So it's perfectly square on there. Squeeze it together and perfectly square on the other side. Okay, and squeeze that together. So I'll turn it down on the desk and just press in there nice and firmly with my bone folder. Now this is the test. Okay, this is the test. And bliss, you see, perfect. <laughs> Okay, that's because we took that one millimeter, it made all the difference to make that tiny little bit. I know it's a strange measurement, but the 2.9 instead of three actually made it, so it's just got that tiny little bit of give. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna need is a length of your ribbon. Now in this kit, we have two beautiful ribbons. We have the navy ribbon here, Knight of Navy, with the rose gold copper edges. Um, rose gold foiled edges there and we have the melon mambo I'm going to use the, I'm doing exactly the same box as I did the first time so I have my length of ribbon here so I just cut a length I wrapped it around the box I want to have my bow tied near the top so I would have that tied at the top edge here you look at the original one here it's tied on that side just underneath the top okay so that's where I want to have it and you want your legs uh, lengths to be about the same so I just hold them together like so. Now I want to glue this ribbon just underneath here. And I didn't bring my tear and tape. But you know what? I have some of this just because it's to hand. I wouldn't normally use a tear and tape, but this red tape will do exactly the same. It's a little bit of a lifesaver that's sitting in my pot beside me. So we want this to be fairly central. So I'm just gonna pop a piece in the middle. Um, I, I'm good at eyeballing, so I'm gonna put this through the middle. It will not be seen because you're gonna put a, um, a layer of card and decoration on the top of that, okay? So we're gonna burnish that down with our nail and just push that all the way down. And this is where it's tricky on camera to try and flick that edge off. And there we go. Good old scissors will do the trick. Okay, and pop that straight in the bin so that the cats don't get that. So, um, just gonna pull that across the top there. That's roughly in the middle. And I'm gonna press that down. The reason being that that will be ad adhered on there now. So when we decorated it and we've finished, we take the lid off, the ribbon will not drop on the floor. It won't, you won't lose the ribbon. It will stay there. So that's that one. Now for the purposes of getting out of the way, I think I'm just gonna tie that little bow. So just on the side there, we want to leave it in place. 
So I'll just tie a quick little bow on here at the top. So bunny ears, wrap round and pull through, through the other bunny ear. Okay. Because we're on camera, it probably won't be as good as the first one was. Okay, I had time to tweak the other one. Okay, so there we go, there's our box. Okay, so our two layers that are gonna go on the top here. I have cut these to size. These are just slightly smaller than the box, the top of the box. And I am just gonna check that that is the measurements that I thought it was. I don't believe it is. I wanted that one to be 9.8 this way. So let me just check on that, 9.8 this way. And this one's not big enough, is it? So I want 13.8 the other way. Yeah, it is, but I'm just gonna take a smidgen off there. So maybe my box is a wee, just little fraction different. Okay, so we'll test. I always offer things up to the actual shape that I'm doing so I can make sure that that's, I'm happy with that. So I'm happy with that one, and they need to be happy that this is gonna fit nicely in the middle. There we go. Now, normally I would gut the middle of this card. You know how I like to not waste the middle. I would have cut the shape out of there, but because I had some cut earlier, um, I won't be doing that one today. So just adhere this on the top here. So our Tombow is very, very sparing, just a tiny little bit around the sides and a little double in the middle. Okay, so that's gonna be nice and square on there like so. And then we're gonna attach that over the, over the lid like so okay so again i'm going to use my tombow just around the outside edges sorry if i'm off camera so i've moved a little bit haven't i and down there okay so that's going to come just in the middle here hopefully you can all see me i'll bring that over i feel i'm leaning over the desk further today okay I'll press that down nice and firmly there we go okay so that's our box made. Well, now we've just got the decoration on the top. So I have pre-cut some pieces for you. Um, these are the, the um, framelits here. Uh, just grab those for you. <laughs> I would if I could find them. No, nope, they're not over there. I probably had those out for something else. Okay. No, okay. So these are the, some of the stitched, stitched nested dies. Um, and these are just going to go on here like so. But before I do that, I just need to stamp the greeting in the centre of this um, this label here. Okay. Now, I don't have my stamp and mat with me tonight, so I'm just going to use the back of a catalogue just to lean on, just to give it that little bit of a cushion. Um, it's not as good a, a cushion, but I will just trust that that's going to be fine. So I'm going to give that a good inking up. And we'll try that on a piece of scrap paper first. That's good. That's well inked up. Sometimes I like to do that. I like to just check with the um, that the ink, especially when a stamp hasn't been used for a little while, I would just ink that up first. Or if it's a brand new stamp especially, make sure that you um, the clean it. Just clean the stamps before you actually use them. There can be just in the manufacturing process, there's a bit of residue on there and it just leaves, it, it doesn't always give that crisp, um, image straight away sometimes it comes out it's a little bit like on the sticky side with the photopolymer ones so it's just best to try that and give that a try first before you go down okay now I'm just going to try not to put my head in the way and try and get that straight there we go haha <laughs> lovely okay so that's all my stamping tonight so I did get out my Stampin' Dimensionals. Yeah. So I don't need the catalogue now to lean on. So these two images, I'm going to layer these two up just with some foam pads. So I'll use the big ones for this. So we're going to turn this over and pop some foam pads on the back. I'll put one at each end and a top and a bottom. We don't want it to fall off because this is the main piece of the, um, the decoration. Just move those over there out of the way. So this is just going to sit on top of here. They're such a nice shape. They just fit together really, really nicely. Just a slightly smaller version. And just get that central. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it over again. And I'm going to put foam pads on the back of this one. 
because it's not going through the post, it's not something that's going to be in an envelope and squashed. Um, it's nice to give it some height. Okay, so top and bottom. I might even put one in the middle on this one because it's, it's that little bit bigger. Okay, so remove those backs off the stamp and dimensionals. Okay, there we go. Those of you who've got the kit, this um, live video will be actually shared on the um, Craftistic Creativity page. Jackie and I, when we're working together and we do joint projects, we have a, another Facebook group called Craftistic Creativity. Okay, so please um, um, hop over there and like our page and jump on there and you might even be treated to some more things that we're doing this week for the people who've bought the kit. So the idea is if you fall in love with it, you might like to contact one of us to, um, to buy a kit of your own because they are truly gorgeous papers. I saw somebody's put a comment up there, how beautiful the project, the papers are. Absolutely stunning. This originally was, if you're on here for the first time, originally the kit was available, the product medley is a huge bundle and it was available last year for the month of May, funnily enough. And it was only valued for the one month. It was a, a, a special and it was priced at £74, but then because they've still got some left over, because it's so popular, they bought a little lot in and they've got extras. They've sold them off in the clearance rack now. Um, like I said, they are still available at the moment. So £40, £70 instead of £74. It's a tremendous saving, so it's really, really lovely. And we jumped at the chance to share it all with you um, and get you uh, a good bargain. So these are some of the little gems. Um, I don't know if you probably won't see it on the camera, these look quite dull on the top. They are actually, they've got a protective covering on them. I liken it to when you buy an electrical good, maybe a new phone, um, and there's a film over the top that's put there to protect it in manufacturing and in transit, and then you peel that film off. These have got that same sort of film. They're the first ones I've actually seen that have got that on there. Um, they're very, very brittle underneath. So I'm just gonna carefully lift one of those off and put one at each end here. So just pop that. It is, it, like I say, it's sort of kind of cracked the outside, how they're manufactured. So just lift that up. They are adhesive on the back. So I'm going to pop one of those on each end like so. And you get double the amount of that. What happened was Jackie and I halved our kit. So we both used half of it. So we had the other half spare so that we didn't go over um, and dive into making using more papers and materials than you wouldn't have be able to do the projects with. So I'm just using the scissors here to lift off that little circle and pop that straight in the bin so that the cats don't find the little piece of plastic. The first one was fine. This one's going to be a little bit tricky to get off. Come on. Oh, nearly. There we go. So if I hold that up to the camera, can you now see that they are so much more shy? I'm not going to catch it, is it? Can you see that's shining there as I tilt it in the light? Just there. Okay, so I've just removed the film off the top there. It makes them so much better. Okay, so I have some little embellishments. I'm just going to just touch base with the, um, the foil that you get. The foil is beautiful. And I just urge you, when you're cutting a piece out, to cut just the size that you need. Because when you've got big shot plates or your die cutting plates, and you have the plates get worn, they get scratches, they get cut, they leave lots of tiny little scratches on here. You probably won't see, but I'm hoping that will just show that there's some little marks on there. Um, so if you've got the whole sheet in there, you really will waste those. Okay. Erica, lovely to see you. Erica's back on, um, on Facebook and it's, it's lovely. We caught up today, didn't we? So um, it was lovely to see you this morning, just to exchange... Um, products at um, two meter pace um, did little swapsies with an order um, so uh, I'm just going to pop these these little pieces I've actually stamped and um, with the Knight of Navy and the uh, Melon Mambo the um, stamps are here this is the stamp set okay so there's lots of images some lovely greetings lovely words and we've used between the two of us we've used I think we must have used everything Jackie haven't we so I've stuck my, I showed you these um, before, I've stuck my dies in the front here 
um, on a piece of magnet and my stamps are here apart from the one that we've got out um, they are beautiful um, and I, I just keep them I use them like this and when I'm, I'm not using them I put a piece of card in here so that the dies if one fell off it doesn't cut into the photopolymer but that was on last week or previous video so I have stamped some of these in um, the Knight of Navy ink and the Melamambo so I'm using my trusted tweezers and I'm just going to place some Tombow on the back here and just place that in the middle okay I have two of those little rose gold embellishments the little leaves I've t I've tilted one kind of upwards a bit and one downwards a bit now I'm I'm being lazy tonight because I haven't got everything um, to hand but when you're doing little filigree pieces if you're doing a lot um, can you see on the back there Oops, hold it over there you can see it a bit better um, I would get a silicon mat and a sponge and I would sponge on the back of that such a much easier way of doing it a lot cleaner for your fingers um, so that's one done so if I hold it with the tweezers as I want to place it down so I'm not turning my hands inside out and just squeezing very tiny little bit like I say, I've, I use my Tombow most of the time, so I do kind of get used to um, just squeezing very, very gently. Okay, so you've got the leaves in the middle, and you've got your copper, your, I want to say copper, it's not, it's the rose gold. It's unique, and we're not used to it. That's a stray that got in there by somewhere else. Okay, so I think that's all, no, not quite all. Um, my last two remaining pieces here, I'm going to put one on a stamp and dimension and I'm going to put one flat. So this one here, this is a darker one. Can you see from my pot behind my photo? Um, this is a lighter one. What I've done is stamp this twice so that we call that second generation. So we have got the, the first image there and then I've stamped it a second time. So that makes it lighter but the same shade. So then the dots in the middle here, this one I've put the navy dots in because it was darker. And this one I've put the Melon Mambo neat. So just on first is the first inking. Okay, so I'll put some Tombow on this one just to put him flat. Okay, so I'll pop that one, twist it around a little bit. I want my leaves to show and I want my gold, rose gold to show. So that one's going to go on there. Then this remaining one here, I'm going to turn him over and pop a little tiny foam pad on the back there. The stamp and dimensionals they come in minis i'm just in the ones last few around the corner there um at the moment but i've got another pack to get out so this one's got the backing removed so this one's going to give a little bit of depth to the height and that's going to go there like so so now we have finished with the tombow i will put the lid on okay and there is our box our finished box okay your nice bow on the side and it like i say it's quite deep it's five centimetres. Remember, we scored that five and a half centimetres. So that's the depth of the box. And it is made to fit the cards. If I can find one quickly in my box here, I will just bring you one out. Here's one of the cards. So here we have a, card, a note card and an envelope that features in that product kit that we're, we're putting tutorials together for. So if you pop both of those together... I undo this one and lay those in there that will fit nicely in there but there's a lot of depth in there so you'll be able to get a lot of cards in there okay so that's the box finished I say tying that again online um, alive, I will just bring you over to the one that I've made already okay so I hope you like that project tonight I'm just going to bring you back on camera so you're back to me Okay, so lovely to see you here tonight, and um, hi, hello to everybody. I'll go back and answer the questions just in a few minutes. Um, but if you're interested in the kit, I'm just going to pop this graphic up, actually. Jackie's on here with me at the moment. I can see she's in the comments there. So this is our mega online class. So Jackie and I have split the kit half each, and we've both made a selection of projects. And we've got a bumper tutorial that we've put together, and everybody who buys that package and that kit um, will get all of that tutorial. And just to, like I say, there's just a couple of things to, to purchase add, to add on there. Just a pack of the note cards and then a pack of the, um, the spritzers, the Stampin' Spritzers. That's to go with the, the rose gold shimmer paint um, pot that's in there as well. 
Okay, so um, that's all the details. There's optional extras if you wanted to, if you haven't got the Knight of Navy ink or the uh, Mellon Man boat, then you can do that as well. Um, I've just seen Susie put a, a, a note on there. It is a super idea for a Prezi, absolutely. If you've got any crafters in your family, I'll bring it back to me. If you've got any crafters in the family, um, that everything is contained in there, all of the products that you need, so the stamps, the dies, and everything else you've seen, and more. There's more stuff that I haven't used. Um, if you've got anybody that you could think, actually, that would make a lovely birthday present for a crafter. It is available, still available today. I am checking every single day before we speak to anybody um, on the, the lives or the videos or anything, um, just to say, yes, it is still available, but we don't know how, what the supplies are in the warehouse. So it could go any day. So um, if you do, if you are interested, then please just replay on there and um, just contact Jackie or myself, whoever you know. OK, so I hope you've enjoyed that tonight. A lovely little box um, that fits the note cards and um, hope to see you again next week. OK, so bye for now. Happy Sunday. Bye.